number 47. He also played with the Milwaukee Brewers and the Toronto Blue Jays and now makes his home on the, in the West Metro and also is a, has been a coach in our league for the last few years with Providence Academy and also spends time with the Hamill Little League. It's been over the last four years. So we're excited to welcome Corey Koski. Corey. I wanted to get one of those rap star mics. You guys would have got a really good show if we got one of those rap star mics like Dawson has. And for the person who keeps unplugging the speaker, I get the hint. I'll be really short and we can move on to the next to the next event. Um, you know this is this is a this is a great event. Uh, these boys here, they had a good year. They're the they were the best on their team, and that's due to hard work. And some guys are physically talented, uh, more talented than a couple of the other players on the team. But this is a tribute to all the all the swings, all the ground balls they took, and they typically the All Star is one of the harder worker guys on the team. So this isn't. This is a tribute to all the hard work that they put in this year into the game of baseball. So let's give them a round of, round of applause for the hard work that they were putting this year for the game of baseball. The one thing I love about the game of baseball, especially with young men, is they teach us, they teach you how to deal with failure. It's the, really the only sport out there that you are going to fail and everybody on the field is going to know that you failed. Everybody in the stands is going to know you failed because there's not a, a lonelier place than on here. When you're standing here, you're raised up, you're all by yourself and you just can't throw a strike. Now couple that with coach say, come on, relax. And you got, you got uh, parents say, come on, there's still strikes, you can do it, just relax. And you're up here thinking, I can't throw a strike. If I threw six strikes in a row, I'd be able to relax, but I'm throwing all over the place. We got runners at first and second, and the, and the score is five to four, we're up by one, it's a bottom of seven, but you're telling me to relax right now and I can't throw a strike. That's a pretty lonely place. Another lonely place, which I know a lot about, is when you, I call it the walk of shame. You strike out, and then you walk back to the dugout, like this, with your bat dragon. Everybody in the ballpark knows that you struck out, you just did not succeed. So the one thing that baseball, that I love about the game of baseball, that forces these young men to learn how to deal with failure, learn how to internalize that, keep their chin up and move on because the one thing that baseball has over every other sport is that you might be 0 for 4 with four strikeouts that day, but guess what? There's another game the next day and it all starts over the box scores, you're 0 for 0. So that's the one, that's the biggest part that I love about this game of baseball is that it forces these guys to deal with deal with deal with failure because you're not going to succeed all the time. It's it's my hope that as fans, as coaches, as parents, we learn something from this event. That you're going to be able to sit back, enjoy your son playing the game of baseball. We're not worried about whether he's three for four, all the team's winning, whether the coach is doing to him, you're going to sit back, you're going to enjoy this game. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for them as players, and it's going to be fun for you as parents. So my hope is that the takeaway from this event is that you go onto your hockey season, onto your basketball season, onto the next baseball season, and remember how it felt to sit back and just enjoy your son playing. Because we got 13, 14, 15 year olds in four, five, six years, chances are they're not going to be playing the game, and you're going to be remembering the times when they played the game and you're gonna wish that I wish I would have enjoyed I wish I would have enjoyed them playing the game of baseball. Because every year seventy five million kids play sports by the age of thirteen, eighty percent of them quit. The number one reason why these why these players quit is because they say they're not having fun anymore. There was an informal study done with Division One college athletes. They asked them what did you not like about your playing experience? What did you dislike the most about your youth playing experience? The number one answer was the ride home. So we could kind of sit back and kind of self-evaluate and what are we doing on this ride home? Because chances are they don't want to talk about it. 
I know when I was playing, the last thing I want to do is come home after 0 for 4 and talk about the game of baseball. Because I just want a place to unwind and just think about other stuff. So. All right. All right. I get it. I'm done. I understand. So, takeaway, learn from this, enjoy it, and take this on to your next to the next season and learn and just enjoy these boys. Enjoy them playing this game of baseball because it's fun and this isn't going to last forever. Thank you.